Hey guys, it's Maya again. Okay, so I wanted to record a new video um, introduction. I am going to start telling the story of my daughter, Katerina, and how she's been bullied for a long time by the same person. She is now in eighth grade, well, almost done with eighth grade, um, but she was bullied by the same person in second grade, third grade, fourth grade. She got a break in fifth grade. Um, then again, sixth grade, larger school, not as bad. Um, and then she moved, my daughter moved to um, the International Baccalaureate Middle Years program that had just started for seventh grade. And halfway through seventh grade, we heard that her um, longtime bully was moving to the program. And the story of it was that the bully was being bullied at the other school, so they were more or less seeking sanctuary, which I thought was ironic because food chain, hi, you know, I mean, eventually, pardon my language, shit was going to even out. You get it if you deserve it. So um, I'm going to tell the story of my daughter and this ongoing bullying, the district's zero tolerance policy. Yeah, right. And the fact that on February 17th, I had to uh, put my daughter into a mental health facility as an inpatient for about a week and then uh, partial, patient, partial hospitalization a week after that. And she was diagnosed with severe depression. Um, she had psychotic tendencies. She has three distinct voices in her head. Um, and now, you know, is seeing therapists and psychiatrists and taking medication. All of this on top of the fact that she's fortunate enough to have inherited the insulin resistance from me, which causes um, a metabolic syndrome and weight gain. So my child, who was at one point called probably one of the most self-confident, thoughtful, and um, considerate children that a school psychologist in elementary school had ever seen, along with my other daughter, is now going through this. So I thought I gave her all the coping skills and understanding why this bully was picking on her. And she wasn't the only one. It was like half the girls in their grade. Um, and lucky for her, she got to be in the same class with her two out of those three years uh, between second, third, and fourth grade. Um, the district security, the head of district security here just gave his report and said this was probably one of the most extensive cases he's seen in his career um, because it goes back obviously as long as it does and my daughter's teachers all said she was an amazing wonderful person and and my daughter now is, I mean, she's used to it. It doesn't do her any good, but she gets more upset about the fact that this person's still there bullying other people. Like, for instance, in October, she physically, the bully, physically assaulted one of Katarina's friends. Like, kicked her. And it's supposed to be reported to the Department of Education, I guess, and to the ombudsman at the Attorney General's office. Don't know what happened. Yeah, there's that HIPAA and privacy thing, so we can't find out. We warned the district ahead of the child beginning at the school what would happen. And here we are. You know, we're taking her to therapy now once a week, was twice a week. Um, lots of doctor's appointments. And I will tell you, I never, ever thought I'd be going through this. And I hope no one else has to go through it. But Katerina said, Mom, share the story. And we're doing it because she hopes that it will help someone else because she's strong and she knew that suicide wasn't an option, but she was severely depressed. She knows that that's never the answer. And we want to make sure other people know that they're not alone and that there's help out there. And it's not easy for parents either. Not at all. So we're still fighting and it has been exhausting for all these years and um, a lot of platitudes from people and uh, that the district failed not just my child but every other child that's been bullied by this person and the child that's bullying because as far as I'm concerned they're obviously emotionally disturbed um, and I don't know maybe a sociopath I don't know but I'll find out I'm back at Penn State doing biobehavioral health and the fun part was studying stress in the body's stress response while all this was going on.
that was just so much fun. Anyway, um, so I'll be back and I'll be sharing the story of my daughter and ourselves and hopefully helping some other people. So maybe that zero tolerance policy might actually mean something because right now the bullies get more protection. Thanks. Talk to you later.